this is the moment all reggae boys fans has been waiting on. It's early in the morning. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. I want to tell you guys, thank you very much for your support. Really do appreciate it. But listen, as you guys can see in the tiger and the thumbnail, we're going to talk about the new head coach. This is the moment every single Jamaican fan has been waiting on. The former Iceland coach, the smallest nation to qualify for a World Cup. Let's get into it. Let's go for the intro and come back. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel guys, your boy Ryan LFC, back again guys, and a top shelf video for you guys. Listen, this is the moment every single Reggae Boys fans has been waiting for. Smash the like button, share your thought down in the comment section. If you're watching back on the replay, let me know what you guys think about the new head coach. Have you guys can see in the title, Paul Hall will not be the head coach of the Reggae Boys. The Reggae Boys move on, JFF move on. New regime. Let's see if the JFF can change from them always. Let's see if they can back this manager. Let's see if they can give everything to this manager for him to be successful. All right. First and foremost, this coach qualify Iceland for their first ever World Cup and Euro. Very good coach. Very good coach. He stepped down from the post. Yeah, man. He stepped down from the post. Resigned. Yeah, after Iceland exists in the 2018 World Cup, he stepped down and he take up a role in Qatar. Now, I don't know where I'm coaching, but I know I'm heading to Jamaica tomorrow. He will arrive in Jamaica tomorrow. He will take a goalkeeper coach. He will take an assistant. Meran Gardner will still be the assistant. Not first team assistant. But the coach will bring him assistant. Meran Garden will be part of the coaching staff. So let that sink in. Now, one of the things a lot of people asking question: can the JFF pay this coach? Listen, I don't know. We will know. But what me can tell you guys, he said, JFF said he's much more cheaper than Paul Hall. And in bringing him goalkeeper coach, Warren Barron, no longer be the goalkeeper coach for the reggae boys. Warren Barron, right now, he is at Mount Pleasant and Carnival College. So he's no part of the Jamaican team going forward. Meron Garden will still be a part of the coach, but not as the... he probably be the second assistant for the new coach coming. So let that sink in. Now, this new coach, he is a dentist, and I also hear that he will be open up him shop in Jamaica, a dentist shop, you know what I mean? So, let me know what you guys think. And before we get into it, guys, before we get into it, one of the things I want to ask, now, Jerome Wade is fired, or re -inding, or whatever what they want to call it, or re -hire, but he's still on the payroll of the Football Federation. Yes, man. My bad, people. My bad. He's still getting coach. He's still getting pay from the JFF. Topper Whitmore still getting pay from the JFF. Um, 
the new females coach, um, Vin Blake, not get received any pay as yet. But the JFF have a lot of things to pay out. They have a lot of things to pay out. I wonder if they can afford it. Well, he is the coach JFF most can afford it. All right? But let you guys know, he has a lot of experience. He's 55 years old. He take the Iceland team. He take the Iceland team to the World Cup. And I want to let you guys know that. Let's see if the JFF will change. Let's see if they will change. But this guy has been stepping away from football. June 2018. From after Iceland qualified for the World Cup. And you know that he was the Iceland coach in the Euro. And thing. He's 55 years old. I said that already. And just go and research him name. Go and research him name. Go and research him name. I don't know a lot about him and stuff. Tonight, I will give you a full picture of the new head coach and all of them stuff there. But the news has dropped. He will arrive in Jamaica and he will be in the dugout with him coaching staff and the goalkeeper coach in the United States when Jamaica take on. Argentina. You can you guys can go into the observer and the gleaner. You will see it in the observer and the gleaner and all of them things there. But I am letting you guys know that he's a pedigree on them belt. Qualify for the first ever Euro 2016 and he qualify the team to the World Cup. So big achievement by him. Pedigree the JFF going for. And all of them stuff there. But let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys happy? The news break now. Paul Hall will not be the coach. So you guys can understand now. But will the JFF back this man, as I said earlier on? I want to know that because it's very important if the JFF going to back the man. We really need this man to be in the job. We need this man supposed to be successful. We can't bother with the failure. I'm mean, going to say it again. Changes a changing a head coach that no mean we're going to be successful. The administration need to get behind the coach, give him all the tools he need for the coach to be successful. Don't tell me this coach don't have the experience. Don't tell me this coach don't have the pedigree to qualify one of the smallest nations in the world for a World Cup and a Euro. That means that this man knew how to get a team to do great things. But will the JFF know how to get a team to get successful? I'm telling you already from 2005, Wendell Doswell, Carl Brown, all of them coaches will change. And it's been the same thing over and over and over. It has been the same thing. Changing the head coach, that no means we're going to get success. I am just open to God. This coach can work miracle. And working miracle with the Football Federation, it can be very, very hard. It can be very, very tough. Me can't tell the fans them to get behind the team. Me can't tell the fans them to get behind this coach. The JFF, the JF, the JFF, the Football Federation, them need to get behind the manager. Only bring him in, only need to give him all the tool. And second of all, allow the man to coach the team, allow the man to pick the players. Too many rumors have been coming out in Jamaica that the coach is not doing them, not picking the team. Only need to make sure that when they set up press conference, we need to get a press conference, we need to get him style of play, we need to know a little bit about him, we want to know if he can speak fluent English. I know that he can speak, but the fans they want to know. I know. The fans they want to know. So I'm going to tell you this, JFF. Make sure that we have about three press conferences. The coach is arriving tomorrow. Make sure him get the rest. Spend the whole afternoon taking the rest Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We need three press conferences. We need him assistant coach. We need him goalkeeper coach. We need to know all of it. All of it. So... Big up to all of the viewers them down in the comment section. Paul is no longer be the coach. And 
the new coach is coming in, he takes Iceland to the World Cup and the nation. So anyway, people, my at the work, big up on yourself, no love and respect. Like up the show, people, like up the show, share the video. Only not get nothing big on this. Only not get nothing big on this. Stop playing with me. Only not get nothing big on this. Me I tell you when the man come. Tomorrow he might come. From the other day, me I tell you say the man I come. But tell you say me have the name, me have the coach. Only not get nothing big on this. Stop ramping my reputation. Like up the show. And thank you guys. Look later, we are going in depth with the coach and thing. So when me at home and in the studio, you will get every little thing about the coach. Detail of the coach. But stay tuned, people. Nothing about love and respect. I appreciate all of you guys. Let's get the video to 60 like people. Let's run it up so the people them watch on the replay, them know to like the video, people. I am out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cameron, Reggae Girls Top Striker, and you are watching Ryan LFC YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and left them here. This is Boom Boom, aka World Boom, the Billboard Selector. And may I represent for Ryan LFC to get the latest Reggae Boys content. Just hit that like and subscribe button. And the operation ball game, I say, knock it, Ryan. What's up guys, 